What's going on, everyone? So, today, <laughs> let me tell you, it is hot. It is hot. <sighs> it's a hot day. It is a hot day, and I'm pretty sure you're feeling the same way, because that's how you got here. It's spring, summer, whatever weather season you want to call it it is hot and you're trying to find yourself such a cool place in your home and the ceiling fan is not doing it opening the windows is not doing it opening the doors so that way you can have that storm door with the screen is that allowing enough air in what you need is some ac but your ac is not working <laughs> I'm telling you guys, I am telling, you know, then you got your, uh, you know, little fans that you'll just plug in and try to directly put your fan on you. All it's doing is circulating heat to you. And uh, I'm telling you, if you're in my shoes, you're like, look, I need to figure out what's going on with my AC unit because <laughs> I can't deal. We're going to go outside, do some troubleshooting to find out what's going on. But before we go outside, I'm going to need you guys to hit that subscribe button. Just click it. Just just click it. That's all you got to do is just click the subscribe button. Turn on the bell to receive notification. That's it. <laughs> Let's go outside. This is my AC unit, as you can hear. It is nice and quiet. It is a Raheem Classic by this uh, BGE box, which is our electric provider. You can see a green light there, so it's kind of telling me that that thing is getting power, which would mean that this thing is getting power, but she's not on. But as you can see here, there's our fuse thing there. So what I'm gonna do is pull that. Right now she's not working. So I'm gonna go back inside the house, turn the thermostat off, go to the breaker box, turn the breaker box on and off and see what that does. Come back out, see if there's anything, like if it's on, not turn the breaker box back off, pull the fuse, uh, pull this cover up. Take a look aside. I think our issue is going to be the capacitator. Um, we also need to clean this damn thing. Uh, you can't really see, but it's it's gunked up in there. Got a whole bunch of junk around here. I got to clean up. So here we are back at the house. So for our selection, we have on cool and auto. One thing that I noticed is that it's it's at 17, which is just unusual we used to seeing you know temperatures like a true true temperatures like household temperatures such as you know 70 60 you know but it's it's you know 17 and then it goes up to like 32 which is kind of like it's representing dates um and not actual temperatures that's the only thing it's just like set time view program and as we press that it doesn't do anything, it'll go down to like one. So it's like it's stuck on dates or something. All right, let's do this. Let's turn on the heat. I don't hear anything, nothing. I think it's the thermostat. I think our thermostat is broken. It's for the heat, the heat's not coming on either. Turn this bad boy up. See, it's, it sticks at 32. All right, I heard it click. All right, let's run downstairs. All right, as you can see, the heat is on. All right, so, she's working. I'm gonna turn that off before that. Whew, before that kills us. All right, so you can hear that the furnace fan is still running and it's doing that to, you know, help uh, get all of the other uh, fumes and stuff out the system. Um, 
So the fan is definitely working. The heat is now off. Um, but yeah, it's it's definitely working. So it's not it's not the issue about with our blower fan uh, with the capacitator on there or the motherboard of the furnace itself, um, which. I did recently replace it in one of my other videos. I'm going to see if I can provide a link of that video of me replacing a motherboard on this furnace. Oh, and there she goes. And now she's off. Let's go to the breaker box, turn the AC unit off, turn it back on, see what it does. Previous uh, homeowner did this, but uh, anyway, um, fuse slots two and four, we have air conditioning. Okay, and then there's a slot 16 that says air condition blower. So what I'm gonna do, two and four, two, off, four, two, four, off, uh, and 16, off. There's 16, 16, off, back on, uh, and back on. So let's turn the AC back on. Not hearing anything, not feeling. Oh, I felt the, I felt the click. Fans are on, but that was pretty much the typical is that the fan will be on. Let's run outside and see what the AC unit is doing. All right, interesting. So again, nothing on from this end. However, this box has a red symbol on it. Red and green. Our next thing is just to pretty much shut off the power to the air conditioning system. Now, we can pull the breaker here. Why this damn thing won't let me. Pull and then push it in. Vacuum cleaner, uh, impact gun, tools, power, cheap scrub brush. So you should just be able to just grab this thing here and pull. Looks like it doesn't matter which way it goes in. Right. Put that right there. All right, let's see. All right, this thing looks like it's out. Cool. Let's get these two screws. There's two up here. It's supposed to be one right there and one right there but it looks like somebody already did service to this thing before all right got the cover off um it's tedious uh <laughs> bent it a little bit trying to get it off uh, i can always get some needle nose and fix that all right um she was definitely on there all this all this gunk as you can see, the spider take over. Some interesting spiders up in there. But no worries, I got a vacuum cleaner. S suck it up. We're gonna use our cheap brush and start brushing. She is dirty. Um, but looking at this, it looks like this thing had some maintenance done to it. As you can see, that's not the original original switch there and that capacitator I don't know, it's got a different cap I'm looking at the screws and you can definitely tell that somebody's definitely did some maintenance one look at that screw that screw is not original that's different um, and just the way that this thing is installed it's just it looks like it's been through some maintenance and replacement so that doesn't mean that you know 
it reached its time limit and needs to be replaced. That still could be bad. Uh, the capacitator still could be bad and the switch can also be bad. Oh, also look, see that white uh, wire? So somebody's definitely been in here. Did some snipping. Oh, we got a stink bug up in there too. Man, this is gonna be delicious. All right, I'm gonna get the cleaning. Might have to use a smaller thing for this thing. It's got a lot of fine. Yeah, since it's spider webs, you know. Spider webs, you can't just go on. All right, let me get a stick in. Oh, shucks. Get something and wind up the spider webs. Spider webs, you can't just suck up. You gotta spin them up. Spin them up. There we go. Stick. And wind them up, baby. Our armor all got the job done, as you can see. Nice and clean. Nice and clean. It's much better than before. Now we just gotta get our brush and brush the sucker off. Now, prefer way, you know, brush, and then you have this coil cleaner spray that you can spray on, but I actually didn't order that, not yet. Actually, correction, I ordered it yesterday, but it won't get here until tomorrow. So, I'm gonna just use this. Let's get a little brush here. What is it called? Kitchen brush from Dollar General. Let's give this a scrub. Let's see what we can rock out with. Oh yeah, she getting the job done. Look at that. Dollar, Dollar General kitchen brush. So let me get to it and I'll show you guys the after. All right guys, mission complete. She's clean. At least physical clean. Seeing that this BGE thing is off, utility box thing is off, which actually goes from here, out from here, to here, okay? So these switches here, and it goes to here too. My next step is just pretty much to uh, get my screw driver and ground these out before I touch them. The capacitator can still be holding the charge, so I need to grab a screw, just pretty much ground all of these out. Um, and then we'll lift this bad boy up and see if we can figure out what, figure out what is what. This is very amateur, but this is just the way it is. So basically what I did, uh, took my permanent marker and basically I labeled uh, each side. So. This side right here represents that the red wire goes there. Uh, this side here represents the small orange wire goes here. This uh, represents the big orange uh, goes here. And this represents uh, the brown to go here. So, so that way when I take them off, uh, I will already know, you know, I can I already have a picture, but you know, even this will help me out just in case, you know, I run to the store, come back so much on my mind and I'm like, oh yes, red, brown, hmm, B-O, big orange, hmm, S-O, small orange, got it. You know what I'm saying? That's how we're gonna rock and roll with. Now let's get these suckers off. Got here. So 43 
2324 This is 35F UF 440U 60 hertz 70 Celsius Alright 35U Let's see if what I ordered 35U So just wanna note make note of this this model Just in case I might need to replace this. I'll at least have that documented. Uh, look at that beautiful spider there. Look at that spider. See something. Ah, wrong hand. Ah, oh, you son of a gun. Come on, bro. Don't do that. <clears throat> now you're dead. All right, we are ready. Got our free arm. Got our gauges. Man, we about to about to learn how to recharge our AC system. I got some mask too. Heck yeah, baby. <laughs> oh. We also have our new capacitator. So it's a bit shorter, so we'll see how it works. All right, guys, this is a capacitator for my AC unit. I did not record me installing it because it was raining. Uh, but it's pretty simple. You just reconnect um, everything the way that it was before. I documented, you know, the sides, calm, harem, fan. So such as fan has a brown wire. Uh, the calm has a big orange and a small orange wire so big orange goes there small orange went there and then the herm has a red wire uh, but uh, my dad pretty much advised me that pretty much um it doesn't matter which pins you actually put them on so such as the calm the calm has two two wires uh one big orange and one small orange and he basically stated it could go either on each each either either connector um and the herm it's just the same thing it could go on each either one and then the fan you can go on e either one it just needs to go to the actual con to the connectors itself so such as the wire for the herm has to go on the herm side the wire for the fan has to go on the fan side and the wa two wires for the comm has to go on the comm side that's basically what it has to be so this is the recharge system as well as the refrigerant uh, that we have here um got our gauges so pretty much after i've replaced this I uh, put back the uh, switch, the power switch, the breaker switch to the AC unit. And then I went into the house and I turned the breaker from the breaker box. Uh, I turned on the switch on there to provide power to the AC unit. And after that, it went through the delay. It's got a box on there, the uh, utility box. That's basically, uh, you know, it, it provides the volts to the unit itself, to the AC unit. So. It went through a cycle, it went from a red light to a green light, and then after a couple of, I think it was like 10 minutes, then it came on. I'm gonna set here, showing 67, 80 for the house. You guys, what we got here. So we got 60, let's see what we got the ceiling. 79, 79. This is the return vent. We got 76. Apologize, I got, I got bad nerves. All right, here's the final update. Got the AC running. New capacitor is installed. Nice and warm. old Raheem classic still running she's an old beast old tank I tell you that for a fact but she is still running and that's absolutely beautiful eventually I'll come through and clean up all this garbage but I'm done for now job is doing done fans sound good that's nice and warm but I got 
to do a, a temperature check when it's hot outside to really see if we got a lot of warm heat. And that'll tell me that the uh, fan and coils are doing a doing its job and we have enough freon too in the system so feels so 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 good right now i'm in a house i can relax god ac is keeping us cool and i know for a fact that you want the same thing so i say give this a shot take a look and see if potentially if you could be also having an issue with your capacitator or your thermostat. Um, the thermostat with the whole, you know, temperature not displaying correctly, that was just like thermostat malfunction. Honestly, that thermostat is so old. I could replace it, but again, I pick and choose, you know, things that I find as a high priority, which, you know, first thing first is always my family, so. I always want to make sure that they're good before I do anything. So that thermostat is going to eventually be replaced since I've seen that it had some technical difficulties displaying the temperature. But removing the battery from the thermostat actually resolved the issue with the temperatures displaying weirdly. Again, I apologize for not recording a video of me actually connecting the new capacitor for the AC unit, it started to pour down, rain, <laughs> okay? I was willing to risk myself getting wet, but I wasn't willing to risk my recording equipment, okay? So I couldn't record it, but at least you guys get to see the before and after. Um, so it gives you an idea of what you potentially could look into. Another thing, again, I highly do not recommend that you, if you're going to clean the coils with a brush, don't do what I did. Uh, I was very adamant on trying to get that unit to go back. It's always best to use a coil cleaner to spray and uh, spray it, hose it down. Good to go. So this is the cleaner I was referring to. Evap foam, no rinse, evaporated coil cleaner. Self rising, fast breaking foam. Okay. So this is highly recommended. And if you need to use a brush, this is another tool. air condition cleaning brush so you can purchase these you know online eBay Amazon whatever you want to choose hopefully this video will be able to provide you some sort of insight of how to troubleshoot this issue again my issue was simple uh, I really didn't need to do a AC recharge. AC is blowing beautifully. I saved myself a ton of money fixing this issue on my own. And I learned something. I definitely learned something. So I was willing to, 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 to put the effort in and learn. So that's what this video was that's what this journey was about for me is to learn something so um i just try to i just try to encourage you guys to you know sometimes you know just just be more willing to give something to try it's just my process of learning and my process of you gotta live a little you got to live a little and you you cannot be afraid to step out your comfort zone. Like me, I'm an IT professional. Anything about applications, computers, networks, I know it. I'm not saying I know everything, but I am well experienced at it. Now, when it comes outside to that, to other devices, 
electronics, uh, appliances, air conditioning, heating units. I'm a little gray, but I'm willing to put in the work to learn it so that way I can save some money. Because again, what comes first is my family. The family comes first, so I gotta do as I gotta do what I gotta I have to do whatever it takes to ensure that my family is not is not neglected. Okay. But anyway, um I'm tired, I'm beat. I'm ready to enjoy this AC while I sleep. Seriously. So on that note guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to drop a comment, drop a suggestion, uh, because any information that you may know can be beneficial to others that are watching this video. So again, my video is not supposed to be about, you know, hey, I'm a professional at this. No, it's just like, hey, guess what I just learned today? I just learned how to troubleshoot my AC system so I can add that to the books of you know things that I've learned to do later down the line if a family member or friend has an issue with their AC unit I could be like hmm let's go through the process first process is let's check the breaker box to see if any fuse had tripped okay let's check the thermostat to see if we can hear it you know click in try to send a signal down to the uh, blower motor uh, the furnace so that blower motor can turn on and then also send a signal out to the actual AC unit to see if that will also kind of kick in if that doesn't have if, if that doesn't happen then you know basically somewhere something's not sending a signal to turn on or turn off But, yeah, it's, honestly, to troubleshoot uh, AC, honestly, to troubleshoot AC issues or heating issues, it's, it's, it's definitely more into it. There's not a, this is where the issue lies, you know, there's always multiple things that can cause an issue, but hopefully... Your issue with your AC unit is just a capacitator, uh, hopefully. So, anyway, guys, I'm out. Peace.